Hi all, in this video we will see SQL Server column store indexes. Uh, before SQL Server 2012 there is no concept called column store indexes. From 2012 itself uh, SQL introduced column store indexes and uh, in later versions in 2014 and 2016 they added more features into this column store indexes. So now the first question is what is column store index? So here it is a uh, kind of technology for storing and retrieving and managing the data using a columnar data format. So that is nothing but a column store. So in this uh, column store uh, what we do is uh, we will store all nothing but a single column values physically together uh, and next another column values physically together into some other pages. So here if you see this example. Uh, just assume this is a table where we have two columns id and name 1, 2, 3, a, b, c. So the above data would be stored like uh, 1, 2, 3, a, b, c. Means one column data will be stored in a single page and another column data will be stored in another page. I will show you an example. So here just take column 1 so instead of this uh, take some real real time data uh, employee id employee city employee state uh, will include employee name also employee name so and the data like uh, 1 2 3, 4 and employee name A, B, C, B, C, D, C, D, E, D, E, F. Employee city, uh, one is Delhi and another one is Delhi and another one is Delhi and another one is uh, A, B. Sorry, it should be state and coming to this uh, city some uh, xyz uh, pq or and again pq or and another one is abc so this is the data that we have in employee table we just assume it's an employee table uh, in general in our growth store uh, language growth store technology the data will be stored as a row wise this complete uh, row will be stored in a single page, it's called page 1, just assume. Uh, each and every page will be 8 KB, we know, the, we know this. So the page 1 data contains all these column values and again this page, uh, if, if we have enough space, again the second row will also be included in page 1. But when we comes to, this is the row store. And when we uh, comes to column store. So in a single page, page one, all employee ID values will be stored. One, two, three, four. And again uh, in page two, uh, employee name data A B C, A B C B C D, C D E, D E F. So means employee name data will be stored in a single page employee id will be stored in a single page nothing but if we represent this table in a different format this would become employee id employee name employee city employee state and the values would be 1 2 3 sorry 1 2 3 4 uh, and this uh, group, yes ABC and again uh, city
I think you know about this transpose, right? It it do uh, change the rows into columns. So this is the structure uh, of column store uh, technology. Means uh, the complete column data will be stored in a single page, and another column data will be stored in a single page. If you if you see the advantage here is uh, the data compression. Means in a single page, if you see uh, the different types of data will be stored. Okay. Here uh, the chance of uh, data duplicate is very less, and the data types are different, and it takes more memory, and there is a uh, chance of very less compression. And coming to this uh, column store technology, here the employee ID is the integer, and all all attributes we have is integer. All values in that particular column is same data type. There would there would be chances of more compression, and if you see there might be just some data duplicate. In this cases, the compression ratio is more high. Means here, if you see the entire state, Delhi is repeated three times. So here, as it it is duplicate data, the compression ratio will be huge in this case. This is the representation for the column store indexes, and this is the row store uh, that we know uh, at very general. Okay, uh, and so this is the different how different are column store and row store. This is the example that we see in just now. Uh, row store uh, is completely at uh, row wise nothing but in the memory each and every tuple will be stored tuple is nothing but a row record and in column store that is stored in a disk uh, column by column so now uh, how different are column store and row store here we will see some sample examples on uh, how these two are different so most of the queries does not process all the attributes of a particular relation in general if you see a table ke, table may contain some hundreds of columns or thousands of columns just assume some tens or hundreds of columns where you may not you may not use all the columns just uh, you may use one or two columns uh, with some specific criteria like uh, it's an um, um, uh, customer table where i am i need only name and address of a region mumbai so here i am using only these three columns so instead of processing uh, all the columns Uh, nothing but reading all the columns from a single page where reading list number of pages that have only these three attributes is very easy and very less time consuming process means it improves more performance so in this query it process only three attributes of customer here customer table may have more number of attributes this is what i said it here and Uh, as I uh, stated earlier, column stores are more input and output efficient for uh, read-only queries as they read, and only those attributes which are accessed by our query. Means uh, our uh, online analytical process, this column store indexes has more uh, importance for all our analytics. Uh, it would be very easy where you have millions of records. And use only very less number of fields for any aggregations or any such kind of things. Column stores improves very uh, great performance. And here I will uh, taking a sample example with column store indexes, where uh, I am creating an index and a table that is a temp sales. I will create a temp sales table from sales order detail uh, that is again from Adventure database. And uh, just I do to see the read number of reads. Uh, I will I do clear the caching. Just I will copy this query. Uh, I copied this query. So this is the query, and again uh, I will copy uh, these two also. Now uh, this is the sales order uh, ta detail table from the Adventure Works database. Uh, I will copy this data into some temp sales table. This is a new table I am going to create. New fiscal table with the name temp sales will be created. Uh, 
okay uh, now i am creating a index on this stem cells table a cluster index with the sales order detail id index is created uh, just i am uh, clearing the caching and buffer then so uh, here i have a query that query is to aggregate unit price uh, uh, the aggregation here is some average uh, and uh, also the order quantity is some and order quantity average for each and every product so already i ran this query and th below is the output i have the output is uh, logically it's a 1512 uh, again i will run the query now and we'll see the result uh, I will enable this too. Uh, this is a query now I am running. Okay, so uh, and we have it, so these are the uh, scan count, logical list, uh, and other uh, attributes when we have cluster index on this table. So this is a scan count, logical list, uh, one by one to same whatever we have in our uh, query in our uh, PPT and you can still see the execution plan as we have in our uh, PPT so see uh, this is execution plan when we have clustered index I will show you the estimated number of source read and everything from my query so this is execution plan uh, clustered index scan so here it is complete table to get the data so here the actual number of source are uh, 12, 13, 17 and estimated input output cost is 1.11 and uh, CPU cost is 0.133 ok so uh, the same thing you can see here also this is what this is what I copied here and again when we have the same query with column store index we will see the how the performance and the stats would be the same example uh, for this I will drop this query drop this index and create a new column store non clustered index So I am wrapping this uh, index oh. This is the index name, sorry It's done Now I am creating a non-clustered column store index on uh, unit price, order, quantity and product id here uh, my SQL server is not supporting column store index anyway I will go through this PPT so uh, in this with, with the column store index uh, we can see the same query, we run the same query on the column store index after creating the above one uh, you can see the change in the logical leads and everything here the logical leads are 48 so when we ran the same query before the logical lead count is uh, 1512 so here we are seeing drastic change in the logical leads count as well as the time estimated uh, actual input output cost is 0 0.009 and estimated uh, CPU cost is uh, 0 0.13 uh, whereas in our earlier uh, execution input output cost is 1.11 and here the in in cost input output cost is 0 0.00 and the number of logical leads are very uh, less so this is the main advantage of the column store indexes and we will see few more benefits like here each page stores data only on basis of